Cookie cutter plans do not work. Everyone wants the quick fix. I used to want the quick fix, so I get it. But everyone wants either a basic meal plan, you just wanna follow a meal plan to follow, they want to try the next best fad diet around that is just going to help them lose weight the fastest. Everyone wants something fast, fast, fast. So are you someone who tried every single plan you can possibly imagine? You may have tried keto, paleo, vegan, low FODMAP, the ABC diet, the OMAD diet, Atkins, Beachbody, Isogenics, you name it, you tried it. You even tried counting calories and counting macros, you tried several meal plans, and you've tried several exercise programs, and you still can't seem to lose the weight forever. So you may lose, you know, a few pounds, see some progress, then end up back, you know, where you started. Uh, you may even try a plan and see some success, lose some weight, and then you can't lose the remaining 10 pounds or the remaining 20 pounds. It was off to a really fast start and then it stopped. Um, you get stuck in like that plateau phase. So um, the reason why this happens is because cookie cutter plans never work long term. Cookie cutter plans give you a, a quick fix. That's what they're used for. Um, they don't put your time, your goals, your needs, any of that into consideration. They're just a one-size-fits-all program. So these plans are always for like the masses, like everybody. Um, they're never for the actual individual. So any plan that is for the masses of people without the one-on-one -on -one individual coaching, it'll never be a customized plan. It will never give you sustainability. And the reason why is because everyone's journey will always be different no matter what. People respond differently to a multitude of things. So there are changes and adjustments that need to be made along your journey. So if you have a cookie cutter plan, you don't have that customization. So people like different things. So when you get stuck doing things that you don't like, then you run into a problem, obviously. So most of the plans that are quick fixes have at least one thing that most people can't do for the rest of their life at least one um that one thing will look different for every single person but even if you have one thing in your plan that you just simply don't like doing you dread it you can never see yourself doing it forever then you already have a recipe that will lead you to failure so when you follow a cookie cutter plan and you have no one to talk to and you just have a generic guideline to follow or a generic support line you know you really have no control over your results so you only have um control on what you're given but when you need to pivot you simply don't know where to turn because again it's a cookie cutter it's a one size fits all and fitness and our health is not a one size fit all so you may be on a journey of losing weight but you have some hormonal imbalances some gut health issues and no matter what you try you still can't seem to make progress so most of cookie cutter plans, you know, they're not hormonal friendly even to begin with, nor are they gut health friendly, especially when you have gut health, you have sensitivities that are different from everybody. So they, they cut out certain food groups, they have foods in the plan that are wreaking havoc on their gut. Um, and you don't even realize it because you think this is the plan for success. This is what's going to give you 20 pounds in 20 days. So you may be doing exercises that are even causing your hormones to get all out of whack without realizing it because you don't have the right coaching and you don't really know how to fix it and you just want your workouts to be hardcore enough, right? So without someone guiding you, holding your hand step by step, making the necessary changes, you will continue to hit a wall. Now, most of these cookie cutter programs like keto and paleo and low carb and, you know, these isogenics and I'm using that as an example, but a lot of those programs that are just, you know, causing you to just drink shakes all day and do these fasts, right, with small snacks, you know, they will act absolutely help you lose weight. There's no questions asked about that. However, they do not take hormonal fluctuations into consideration. They don't have the female body in mind. Females need different exercises and different nutrition throughout the month to get their body working in its natural rhythm. Because when you're not doing that, then it causes an issue. So you want to make sure your nutrition and your exercise is really synced up with your, your hormones and your gut health. 
because that will help you burn fat easier, boost your metabolism, along with getting rid of any bloat if you have any. So the reason why a cookie cutter plan is not the best. Imagine a girl, you're a girl, you go to the hair salon, your stylist needs to assess your hair. Um, you know, what color is it? What are the tones? You know, is it dry? Is it damaged? Then they have to assess, you know, what is your outcome before they determine a solution and obviously mix it up for your hair. So let's think about, you know, say Amanda who has black hair, wants to go platinum blonde. Now she can either take the easiest and quickest and cheapest route, which will get her bright blonde instantly. It's my dream. My stylist won't let me, but you'll know why in a little. But she will have to deal with damaged hair and negative consequences down the line if she wants the quickest, fastest, cheapest route to go from black to blonde. So if she finds a stylist that is more concerned on the long-term result, like mine, then she may take a more gradual approach to making her platinum blonde, right? So instead of focusing on just making her hair lighter and lighter, um, you know, immediately in one shot, you know, someone who's concerned about the long term will slowly get your hair lighter little by little. So that long, long term, your hair will be healthy, long, it will be long lasting platinum hair without the damaging side effect, right? So our hair is not a one size fits all. The approach is always going to be different because everyone has different color, thickness, length, their hair. Our hair is always going to be at different levels of healthy. So you need a professional that's going to give you the, pre the approach that's gonna give your hair long-term success. The approach is always gonna be different. So those who take the cookie cutter route and get their hair box dyed when they want a specific result, typically, you know, if they're doing box, they're not going for long-term, they're going for short-term because they're gonna have more damage, they're gonna leave their hair in a worse situation than they started. But for the short-term, it's gonna look good. So when it comes to your health, you need to make sure you're finding a professional or a specialist that is going to assess you individually before subscribing you a plan. And I'm very, very passionate about that. So making sure that week after week or month after month, you know, you're making gradual changes to bring you long-term success and you're not just focusing on the short term. So I'm super passionate about that because I know when you focus on things like that, that's what gives my clients the success that they need because they're not doing everything all at once. So it allows you to stay on track. It also allows you to get back on track if you do fall off track because we're not all perfect. Sometimes things, you know, fall through or, you know, maybe, you know, our life changes for a few weeks and we kind of fall off the wagon a little bit. That's okay, because when you learn a lifelong sustainable plan, one, you don't blow up as easily, two, you know exactly what you have to do to get back on track, so it's not gonna take you five months to get there. You know, your body bounces back in a week of you starting to implement good, simple habits. Yes, a week. So I wanted to share another story um, about another client of mine, and her name is Lisa. I have a lot of Lisas. Uh, and she's someone who came to me after trying, you know, some cookie cutter plans. She was, ca she counted calories in Noom. Um, and she's like, Danae, I do not want to count calories. Please show me how to lose weight without it. So we did exactly that. Each week I assessed what she was eating and how we can make changes based around her habits without her counting, you know, all of her calories, right? And this was also with her incorporating food she loved. She would send me pictures of ice creams and cookies and stuff, right? Um, and she was able to do this and she was able to see so much success because she was able to incorporate the things she loved all while fitting, it, fitting her fitness plan effortlessly into her lifestyle. So I wanted to share this story. The link is below for you to learn a little bit more about Lisa and what she has accomplished. I was super, super proud of her. She did awesome. Um, and again, you're going to see this week, all of my clients and all the people that I work with, they all have a different story. Everyone starts at a different place. Um, and everyone ends in a different place. And the way that they get there is always different because everyone's life is different. So you can, you can't ever think that a cookie cutter plan is going to work for everyone because 
I'm sure we could all agree, everyone is not the same. None of us are the same. Um, so I hope you enjoy her story. Tomorrow, I'll actually be here. Um, and I'm going to be discussing what it's like to be a kid again and being a know-it-all. And I know I was a huge know-it-all when I was a kid. Um, so I'm excited to share what I have for you tomorrow. So let's dive in. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.